What if I told you that Toyota is developing a new engine that could revolutionize the automotive industry and make electric vehicles obsolete? That's exactly what Toyota CEO Akio claims. The company's new hydrogen-powered internal combustion engine will destroy the entire EV industry. So what does this mean for the future of the automotive industry? Will Toyota's new engine really make electric vehicles obsolete? And if so, what will happen to all companies investing heavily in electric vehicles? In this video, we'll discuss the implications of Toyota's new engine and what it could mean for the future of transportation. But before we get into this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. In the heart of Toyota's workshop, a brewing innovation was simmering, and it wasn't your run-of-the-mill automobile. We're not talking about just any ordinary vehicle, we're getting into the groundbreaking hydrogen-powered industry. You might recall the Mirai, Toyota's previous hydrogen-powered masterpiece that harnessed fuel cells to generate its electric power. But hold on because Toyota has unleashed something unprecedented, dubbing it the new hydrogen combustion engine. And let us tell you, this isn't just another shiny toy. It could potentially rewrite the rules of the automotive industry. While many auto giants are charging full speed into the all-electric future, Toyota's taking a less traveled road. But it's not merely about being different. It's about being downright superior. Now we might be aware that our beautiful blue planet is currently dealing with some eco woes. According to the Eco Warriors at Global Citizen Org, the transportation industry is slinging a hefty 15% of global carbon emissions into the atmosphere. And guess who's been dropping the carbon bombs? Our beloved combustion engines chugging away have been the culprits for ages. While electric cars are all the rage, they're not the one-size-fits-all solution. That's where Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine steps onto the stage. Toyota's latest addition to its diverse arsenal in the quest for carbon neutrality is the hydrogen combustion engine. Hydrogen is the universe's most abundant element, boasting the highest specific energy density among all non-nuclear power sources. It's as clean as a whistle, non-toxic, and can be conjured up from various sources, stored indefinitely, and shipped without sweat. Millions of tons of hydrogen are used each year without causing any major uproar, powering buildings, electric cars, forklifts, ships, and even trains. But what's the fuss about hydrogen engines? Well, these powerhouses grant you longer ranges without the pesky need for frequent recharges, a common complaint with electric vehicles. And here's the kicker. The only thing that escapes the tailpipe is plain old water. Yes, you heard that right. No harmful pollutants to ruin the atmosphere's day. But how does that happen? All hydrogen engines operate with the help of a fuel cell, a nifty contraption that converts hydrogen into electricity. It's like a dash of wizardry with a hefty dose of science thrown in. Interestingly, Toyota hopped on the eco-friendly bandwagon in 1997 when it introduced the world to the Prius, steadily steering toward a greener tomorrow. But Toyota's not the lone ranger in this environmental expedition. Automakers across the globe are tinkering away in their labs to craft environmentally conscious vehicles powered by solar energy, electricity, and the mighty hydrogen. It's not merely about saving Mother Earth, it's about securing our energy future, cleansing the air we breathe, and minimizing our environmental footprint. Additionally, hydrogen is a breeze to distribute, highly efficient and cost-effective once produced. Most of these cutting-edge hydrogen refueling stations create the magic on-site via electrolysis, often utilizing 100% renewable surplus energy. These stations come neatly packed in containers, demanding nothing more than water and a flick of the switch for operation. In some cases, power flows in straight from the sun or the wind on-site. Toyota has upped the ant by claiming to have discovered a novel approach to harnessing the incredible power of hydrogen. Recently, their engineering wizards unveiled the Corolla Cross H2 concept, a prototype car sporting the much-talked-about hydrogen combustion engine. Toyota foray into this new hydrogen realm differs notably from their previous hydrogen-powered wonder, the Mirai, which relied on fuel cell technology. The concept of employing hydrogen to fuel an internal combustion engine isn't exactly new. One of the early pioneers in this game was the German automaker BMW, who thrust the 750 HL into the scene in 2002, followed by the Hydrogen 7 in 2005. BMW's Hydrogen 7 was a modified version of the traditional gasoline-powered 6.0-liter V12, tweaked to run on hydrogen and gasoline. A true dual-fuel engine, 
To add a dash of exclusivity, only a scant 100 of these marvels were ever produced. However, it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows for hydrogen power. It's highly flammable, demanding caution, akin to handling a stick of dynamite, and storing it can be quite the headache. Moreover, it's not all roses, as nitrous oxide slips out during the combustion process and is considered a pollutant by the EPA, though less menacing than carbon monoxide. And now, Toyota steps into the spotlight. The Japanese automaker firmly believes there's no one-size-fits-all solution to mitigating vehicle emissions or satisfying the diverse needs of global commuters. It's all about delivering the right vehicle at the right place and at the right time. As a result, investments must be spread across the board, catering to immediate, medium-term, and long-term needs worldwide. And here's where hydrogen swoops in as an integral part of Toyota's Beyond Zero campaign. So, you might be wondering, what exactly is this H2 Toyota's brewing up? Well, consider it Toyota's snazzy moniker for hydrogen-powered internal combustion engines, and it's looking like the future's new poster child in automotive technology. But how does it work? The GR Corolla H2, for instance, comes equipped with a 1.6-liter turbocharged three-cylinder engine. But with a twist, it sips on hydrogen. To make this marvel happen, Toyota employs robust armored fuel tanks to securely house the potentially explosive hydrogen, a trick they picked up from their previous FCEV, the Morai. Astonishingly, with just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, this vehicle can whisk you away for up to 300 miles, and the only thing it leaves in its wake is 50 liters of pure water. Talk about an environmentally conscious ride. Now, let's talk power. Toyota has even joined forces with Yamaha Motor to concoct a hydrogen-fueled V8 engine. Yes, you heard that right. A V8 that guzzles down hydrogen. And it doesn't hold back, pumping out a robust 455 horsepower and a hefty 398 pound-feet of torque. But here's the real showstopper, the 8-into-1 top-mounted exhaust manifold that conjures a unique high-frequency symphony. If that weren't enough, hydrogen-powered vehicles boast superior range and lightning-quick refueling compared to their electric counterparts. For the GR Yaris H2, all it takes is a mere 90 seconds to refuel. Moreover, this technology reduces the reliance on scarce materials like lithium and nickel, the backbone of EV batteries. The Corolla H2 is indeed a vehicle that demands attention, and with real-world testing already in progress. It won't be long before these marvels hit the open road. Once they do, rethink everything you know about electric vehicles because Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine boasts numerous advantages, chief among them being a more extensive range and refueling speeds. But it's not just good news for drivers, it's a win for the environment too. The Toyota hydrogen engine doesn't guzzle rare metals like lithium or nickel, which are crucial for making EV batteries. And while it does have a battery, it's a pint-sized one compared to an EV's hefty power pack. Here's the scoop. The Corolla Cross H2 concept car is currently doing its thing, undergoing real-world testing and winter road conditions up in northern Japan. And guess what? The Japanese government's big dreams for hydrogen aim to put 200,000 fuel cell-powered vehicles on the road by 2025 and a whopping 800,000 by 2030, with more hydrogen refueling stations popping up like mushrooms nationwide. Let's talk about the sound, because it's music to your ears. The Toyota hydrogen engine sounds fantastic and emits an exhaust bark that's no different from a finely tuned gasoline-powered vehicle. And since it doesn't burn fossil fuel, it emits almost no CO2. Sure, there's a smidge of noxious gases, but it's a far cry from the pollution party of a gasoline car. What about safety, you ask? Toyota's got that covered, too. They beefed up the connecting rods, made the valves and valve seats more challenging, and the fuel injectors are now all about gas, not liquid, so you can confidently cruise, knowing safety's top of the list. Now let's dig into the nitty-gritty. What are the perks of this new technology? Let's start with the biggest gripe about electric cars, charging. We've all heard the horror stories of charging woes. With hydrogen, that's a thing of the past. It takes a mere 90 seconds to fill up, and while the number of outlets may be limited now, they often cozy up to your regular gas stations, making it super convenient. Plus, the pint-sized battery in the GR Yaris H2 requires fewer raw materials like lithium or nickel, 
making it even more environmentally friendly. So if you're looking for a cleaner, greener, and faster alternative to traditional combustion engines and EVs, the Toyota Hydrogen Combustion Engine is where the party's at. What do you think about this bold move of Toyota? Please let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.